did make me laugh a bit. Okay, I'm let's gonna... get those primers out of the fridge. Show this up to me. Oh yeah, let me do all that stuff. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. Uh, Facebook, yeah, Foundry, go live. <laughs> so can I just say that we're going to an external lab? Yep. Cool. Okie dokie. I want Facebook. Don't need to have these extra things live. We don't want Trump talking. Go away. Shut up, Trump. Fuck off. What are you? Is there right. another controversy with Trump again? Oh wait, no, let's not go into that. I, I, we'll I do got... that later on, it's fine. Yeah, no, like legitimately, I have this, this is fascinating stuff going on there, but today is not the day. Why is the camera doing the thing? Uh, the light? Yeah, maybe it might be, yeah, it's doing a thing where it's like, kind of, wait, um, logic. Yeah, the frame rate of the light, I think the frame rate of the light is coinciding with the frame rate of the, of the actual light. That's why uh, it looks like it's flickering. Yeah. Uh, uh alright. Hold on. Come on. Alright. You know what I can watch your caption now? Uh, alright. Yeah, let me get the primers out. I just posted it. Alright, see, no need for. Oh, uh, god damn it. Oh no, what have I done? Video capture device. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not sure why it's a little bit flickery today. Um, we'll try and uh, fix that, I think. Oh, wait, now it's doing the thing with the alert box again as well with the zombie. I don't want the zombie. Rip. No! Alright, well... Me. Maybe that's only for Twitch things that it does that. Maybe everything else it's um, doing the other thing. Alright, that's okay. Yeah, Lamp mix, warm start master mix, primer master mix. Good. Alright. Fantastic. Can you also start putting out the tubes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Need one, one rack of 12. Oh, you know what? Has it been thrown out? Hopefully it hasn't been thrown out. Oh, it probably hasn't been thrown out. What's being thrown out? I just remember you can use P20 things to carry to hold the, uh, these things. Oh, um, no, I'll, I'll grab you a thing. That's what we use in our lab. We're like we're in Nick's lab. This will do well. I don't know. Put it on nice. Yeah. So also naming convention. I'm just gonna get you to label everything today as uh, 30 through to 36 and 40 through to 46. But we'll get to that in a sec. Just split them up into two sets of six though, if you can. Oh, righty. Thanks, guys. Let's try and turn down that supporter thing so it's not spamming us. Uh, alert box. Supporter bar, alert box. Turn you down a bit. Anything I can do in the settings here? What else that is? Uh, alert. Subscriptions. Default. There we go. Uh, follows. Done. There we go, this might, this is Hey, awesome guys, can you ask a question? Ask away, we are here to answer your questions, because we won't be able to do the actual test on stream. So, if you have any questions, now is a fantastic time to ask them. Ask all the questions, guys. Yeah, please, go ahead. We have... What are we doing today? Is we it... have some of the answers. Yeah, we don't have all the answers, just some of them. Uh, so what are we doing today? Today we are going to be mixing up our coronavirus test kit. Um, we will then be taking it out of our lab, turning off the stream and going across to a collaborating lab, the name of which we will hope to release soon. When we get there, we will be testing it against a positive control that is made up of DNA. So let's have a quick look at that. Well, while my friend Benj over here sets up the tubes. 
So we're also, Ben, today going to take... Th these are all the things we're going to take today. Um, so we're going to be taking a little tube with enough of each primer to make up a master mix of their own. Yep. We're going to take 50 microliters of our master mix, 40 microliters of the test, okay. um, and maybe 10 microliters of dye. I forgot that. 10 microliters of dye. Okay. Uh, so are we just going to bring these tubes or not? Uh, no, 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 we'll take, we'll, 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 um, we'll aliquot that out. Okay, okay. So once that's aliquoted out, they'll be able to then make up their own test there as well, and if we made a fuck up here, it won't translate because then they'll be able to check, double check, double check. Okay, cool. Okie dokie. So guys, um, we're going to be making up, this is actually going to be 12 today. Some of the information here I planned over the weekend for us to be able to do with all three primer sets, but we only have one primer set arrived today, so we're just mixing up one. No worries, I'm trying to set up a similar RT lamp isothermal PCR assay and was just wondering where you got the reagents. Great question. Well, we got our reagents from NEB, New England Biolabs. We ordered them from Melbourne. And we ordered our primers from over at um, IDT in Singapore. So, uh, but they're likely to run out of supplies pretty soon, so we're going to be working on some form of domestic production sometime soon as well. Uh, why is this... Why is this doing this? Maybe I need to go follows as well, likes. Oh, it's got a default, but it doesn't have a uh, have an option for another one. Give me a sec, I'll figure this out. Do you make it make it the text to chat? Uh, media. So Change media. <laughs> uh, oh, god damn, this is going to take a lot longer to do than I thought. Okay, well, sorry about the zombies, guys. Entirely not our intention to have zombies running across... <laughs> during during what could be the start of the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> no, 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 really though. I was I was talking with my roommate. It's not that hard to make a zombie virus. Well, not make. It's not that hard for a for a virus to uh, make your brain do things. That's what. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, we, we we have evidence in nature of viruses that can tell people to do new stuff. All right. So six, six, and then two lots of two. What are those over there? Oh, just because they're off-cut. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we've got two lots of six there. Can you please label them? And I'll just make sure I'm doing this right. Um, uh, let's, 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 let's edit this. This is now going to get confusing if I... Alright, uh, 15, 21, 26. Uh, we're going to label these ones as... Maybe I just do relabel the old tests. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to rub off the numbers on these old tests and change them from 15 to 24 to uh, 11 to 20. That's going to take a long time, dude. I think not. <laughs> it, 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 won't, it won't take a long time. I'll do it. It's, it's, it's okay. Um, it'll just take me a few seconds. Yeah. So, yeah, can you label those ones 21 through 26 and then 31 through 36? Okay. And I'll just get a other pen and from over here. And, um, oh, is this pen going to work? No, that doesn't look good pen. Alright, uh, let's try this pen. That one works perfectly. Aha! Uh -huh. So these are the tests we made last time. Just, um, don't, don't get them confused or anything, but I'll just spin there for the time being. Yeah. I'm just going to rub off the numbers here. 14, 15, 16, 11, 12, 13. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Half of science is label. Yeah, I know, like really we this is this is most of our job is just writing labels very, very small tubes. Uh, very very small tubes, making sure that you don't yeah, do what do not are. do not mess up the labeling, it's the most important thing. This should have way more viewers. Good luck and thank you so much. They very much appreciate. Share with your friends. This is our first time streaming on Mixer, and you might be our first commenter on Mixer. Alright, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's keep uh keep rubbing off these labels. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, what? Uh, I maybe mean, I should have gone from 10. Yeah, maybe you should have gone from 10. No, no, it's just 24. 24, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 tests here, alright. 19, 20, 
<laughs> that's not good. That's not what we should do. But just yeah, let's just get these here. There's an, there's an extra test here. Oh, so fourteen. Fifteen. Ensure that our. Sixteen. So another important thing was that I was worried that these might self-react over the weekend. Oh yes. So they haven't. Oh yeah, they haven't. That's good. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Because I, I, I was reading troubleshooting. It's mostly like self-reaction. Yeah, no, I legitimately, I didn't even read that troubleshooting until later. But I just assumed that would be the main problem, and it yeah. was. So, yeah. awesome. All right. And so we it, haven't got any self-reactivation, which means our primers are good. Our primers are good. Well, they're at least good enough to not self-activate. They may not be good enough to activate at all, which is the main concern. Okay, we now have um, the tubes labeled. So the next thing will be to make up the master mix using the primer master mix we made last week. So as a reminder, these are the concentrations here of the master mix. Let's just have a quick pop across to full screen so you can see uh, main overlay. So these are the concentrations here. Um, the BIP and FIP primers have the highest concentration, followed by the loop F and loop B. And finally, the F3 and B3. This is a pretty standard naming format for anything to do with lamp. So we've already mixed up this here in the yellow. Um, these ones here we're going to do if the primer set 2 and 3 arrived by today, but it hasn't, so we'll do those later in the week, probably on a separate stream. And so now we're moving on to this, and I've, I've added in these calculations in the middle column for uh, 13 reactions. Whenever you mix up a, a, a master mix for primers, you always want to include one extra, so we're actually making 12 reactions, we just mix up for 13 to make sure we've got a bit of tolerance. Uh, I'll give you some sterile water. Seriously low on water. Yeah. So we're, we're a few days away from our autoclave problem becoming a real problem. All right, um, back to full screen. Well, what is the emerge thing gonna go now? Uh, it's not happening. It's it's, it's all everything's cancelled. Everything is canceled. all fun. No fun for the next six months. Unless you're like me and prefer inside. In that case, it's actually more fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So label achieve master mix. This is a pretty standard format for mixing any um, polymerase reaction. It just so happens that this is what they call isothermal or single temperature uh, polymerase reaction. So the reaction itself is a lot easier. It all occurs at 65 degrees. Uh, water first. Oh, you got it. Okay, we've got to defrost. So that, that'll take a little while. So where you use the heat of your own body to de-ice stuff. Uh, almost all the stuff we use in biotech has to remain I'll tell you what, why don't I start holding those and defrosting, and you start labeling tubes to put the primers in? Oh, well, that's I think. I don't yeah. want to get, let's not get, conf get confused. All right. I'll also note, there appears to be, so if there's a lemon tube over here. Yes. Yes, there is. Um, tubes 11 and 20.5. Off the label A and B. A and B, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is this. I got one, too many tubes and it's confusing my system. Alright, there we go. Okay, that's um. Uh, Did you put them on ice? Put, put them on ice. It, it, these are all reactions, so having them off ice is the end of the world, but it's just practice to always keep things on ice. Um, so I'll just one and chop off the other thing. Put these back in the fridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Called A and B, and we'll, we'll try and figure out something else. Okay. Maybe they'll get be the uh, the no one. Uh, there we go. Okay. Have you tried to see on? I have no idea what to say. Oh, hold on, I need those please. Cool. <laughs> Not perfect, but. Yeah, that's a works then. Yeah, but Hello, Uncle Bill. Thanks for friends. Really appreciate. It. Uh, how are things in the excrement hit the ice? <laughs> All right, this one's ready. All right, ready an eleven tube now. All right, so you're going to be wild cards doing with them yet?
Okay, guys, we gotta be really careful while keeping things cool. We need to make sure it doesn't get into the... How's that defrost? Is the die also frozen? You frosted... I'm still frozen. Okay. Frost the die. Okay, so looking at our master mix. First thing is a microliters of water. So we'll start setting our mic at 10.5. 11, since this doesn't have a situation. Yeah, we will. Um, we're running a bit lower, so it's starting to get a little bit lower. 111. I, yeah, it's a pain. We have to make sure it's going to be burning out last bit. Uh, the alert box. We'll turn it down a bit. Oh, my mic is on. I hear three words and miss four. Exactly what we don't want to hear. The microphone. Uh, what about? Uh, sound settings. Uh, recording, blue snowball, levels, it's maxed out there, uh, advanced, um, hmm, I'll just try and speak really, really closely into the microphone, I think the problem is that this mask really does make the voice not sound like a voice, and so the microphone keeps trying to, uh, Cut it out. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll keep working on trying to get that better. Hmm. Okie dokie. Everything's defrosted? No. Alright, is the Master Mix tube labelled? Yep. Good and man. Fantastic. You want to label the top of it as well? Or is it labelled? Oh, um, yeah, cool. No worries. Um, let's start by adding the water. Yeah. It's expensive to most expensive. Exactly. Exactly. Edit session's timed out, that's fine. Um... <sighs> Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to type in, particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers Ah, oh, no. Yeah, definitely a problem of the microphone, I, I, uh, with the mask. I'm just going to speak really, really close into it here whenever I need to speak. So sorry about that. Check out the burner. Oh, okay. You want the protocol? The, yeah, the protocol on the burner because we're going to be opening the lamp and the... Uh, oh, yeah, the burner. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Alright, guys. We need to create a sterile space in order to be able to do this without worrying about RNA falling into our mixtures. It's part of the reason why Benj is here using gloves and I'm here using the computer without gloves. There's your flame device. This will all become so much easier once I don't have to wear a mask and hide yeah. my mouth from the outside world. Next volume. I, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll bring the microphone with me, you know? Okay, so first volume, 110.5 be on 111 already. Of what? Oh, you already done what? Okay. Next step. Uh, 162.5 of warm start lamp master. This is where the magic happens, friends. Are you like holding the... <laughs> Roll up, everyone, to the circus tent. Come to the races to see the greatest lab test of all time. Perpetrated by yours, Benj Gonzaga. <laughs> I don't know, something about holding them like this makes me feel like I'm an old vaudeville presenter. <laughs> Alright, I don't know, bombard me with questions, that's why we're here. But do you guys have an easy RNA extraction protocol, or is the other group doing the extraction for Fantastic question. In hope of doing the lab protocol, need to do an RNA extraction, but we won't be testing 
Okay, today's test is going to be on a positive control. This means that it won't be testing the polymerase aspect of the uh, test, it's just going to be the lamp reaction. It's a very simple step, but it won't tell the story. What I'm hoping is that lamp is going to be sensitive enough to work without RNA connection, because you may not know this, but there are major bottlenecks in the production, sorry, in the, in the testing bandwidth higher planet is the fact have so many RNA extraction, so many people trained to do RNA. We do have a RNA extraction protocol. We normally use the simple for doing it for plasma DNA, but it's a very simple protocol to adapt. That said, the main aim of the lamp is to remove the purification entirely. Okay, master mix is in. We now have 32.5 of primer mix. You've just done the primer. Uh, it's all, it's like you're all good. All right, so uh, give it a quick shake. Uh, next, you want to split that. So just grab out my calculator, and I'll double for you know, this half of this. Are we going to just put that uh, the volumes into these things? No, we're going to add dye to half of it. Remember? Oh yeah, sure, sure. Okay, so one six. This is why we have two people. <laughs> it's always always really important to be double checking each other yeah, in the lab. Uh, it's not that, it's, it's, no, 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 32.5 plus 110.5 equals 305.5, so 153 would be half, 153. Okay. So guys, this, this test should work without the dye in there, but if we are preparing it with and without the dye. When the dye is in there, a positive test should look very blue as opposed to a bit yellow. And when there is a negative test, it will, uh, yeah, as I said, look a bit yellow. With the one without the dye, the positive test is going to look very turbid. It's going to have a lot of white precipitate inside of it. The uh, one without the dye, that is, um, uh, that is a negative, will continue to be clear. So those are the four potential endpoints that we're expecting to see. We might be very sad today and just see a whole bunch of negatives, despite the positive. There are a number of different reasons why that might be, but we'll have to investigate them once we see the result. Fingers crossed, though, that everything goes according to plan, and we'll be able to then move into the next step, which is testing against RNA, actual viral RNA. Another thing that this lab is definitely not classified for. Uh, what's the volume of the dye? Uh, can you add uh, three microliters of dye? Just uh, three. So is that a small amount of that? Yeah, perfect. Remember, guys, pipettes can only go down 10% of their maximum volume. So this a20, we can get uh, three micro of that, but anything under two would not be for it. During better times, if you ever want to come in and learn any of these things, our lab is open to the public. During these times, with social distancing and the amount of people who need the lab right now, it's probably a bit hard, but please keep in mind. All right. That's still defrosting, is it? Yeah. All right. No. So Ben just using the heat of his hand right now to turn the icy dye into some liquidy. While we do that, let's have a look at some stats. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't seen the... Yeah, we, have, we haven't looked at the infections today. Uh, oh, what's, what, what's, what's your guess? Uh, um, it was one, it, was, it reached 120 yesterday. 140. Uh, in, in, what, in the USA? Yeah, USA. Uh, what, do you think, what do you think globally? 700,000. Yeah, very close. I think 710 it was where it was. Yep. Oh shit, okay. And US is 140. Holy uh, crap, you are... You're cheating. I, I don't believe you. No, no, that, that's, that's, that's impressive. Um, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear. Um, sorry, USA. Things are looking very, very grim in Italy and Spain as well at the moment. So, for those of you who have who've seen this but haven't seen this next page, I think you'll find this very, very interesting. If very, very upsetting. So, let's have a look at this. This is when coronavirus first got out of China. And these are showing the different mutations that started to appear over time in the disease. We now have eight confirmed different strains, and those are just the ones that are sort of confirmed as different strains. Every single one of these lines you see coming along your screen is a different mutational ancestry of the disease. So here in Australia, we have this green strain here. So let's have a let's see if we can play around with the data here. Give me a sec. It's a new one. Uh, sorry? It's a very recent one. It's a very recent one. Yeah, these, yeah. Are, these are the ones in Australia here. 
But I think that they're only so much new as that it's been more recent data. I think that the mutation, if we look here at the phylogenetic tree, I'll just try and reset this so I can play with the data myself. Uh, reset. Uh, where's the button to do the data yourself? So yeah, very, very, very useful tool, this one. Um, oh, good lord. Yeah, so you can see the actual movement of the disease as well. You can also sort of uh, re-examine this data as a radial chart or as something which doesn't look at the roots, it just looks at how far things spread. Or we can even look at it as a thing over time. Good lord, that's upsetting. And so down here we can actually see where the mutations are occurring inside the genome. And so I was... It, okay, sorry. Let's back, get back to Benj. Benj, what's up now? I'm up to just... I put the dye in the thing. Alright, the dye is in one of the master mixers. Yeah. Alright, so uh, the first um, 20 through to 26 can be the ones with the dye, I believe. Just let me double check. 21 right? to 26? 21 to 26 with the dye. Okay, cool. Cool. 24 microliters is the same? 24 per tube. Good man. Hold on, did I miss a question? Uh, yeah, nope, I'm all good. Continue to ask questions, guys. If you have anything you want to know about the test, now's the time to ask, since we might be able to show you the actual demonstration of it either working or failing. We will hopefully have some endpoint um, information about how things went later on tonight on the write-up, but I'm going to need to get permission from various people. Okie dokie. The worst part about this map is seeing it in Greenland and in Madagascar. <laughs> 39 in Madagascar, it's all over. It's all over, guys. Also, I don't think anyone is going to go on a cruise ship ever again. Like, 56 up there, 30 down here. It's not looking great for uh, the cruise ship industry. Isn't Mislov in bloody Fiji? <laughs> Are you serious? Did he? Oh my god. One of our uh, one of our team's directors is also locked overseas as well in Malaysia. So everyone's uh, everyone's either trying to get back home or trying to settle in for a long stay. Luckily for him, he's actually on an island, so they have to um, take all their groceries across on a boat, and there's no human interaction. Sounds about mo like the most idyllic thing you could have. All right, USA. Oh, it just ticked over to one hundred and forty thousand in the USA. <sighs> Sixty thousand people in New York City, my lord. That's well, just the state of New York, actually. I was there a few months ago. Yeah, Boston's um. Let's see here. That's uh. Is it New England? The name of the state? Yeah, New England. Yeah. New England clam chowder. It's not doing as bad, I think. Unsure. All right, how are you doing there? You yeah, got dies, 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 dies in. in. All right, so now for the next ones. Uh, make sure those lids are as tight as possible because yeah, um. I put the lids on wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, some of the ones in the fridge didn't have the tightest lids, so they're a little bit evaporated. Okay. It's not the end of the world. It's kind of expected. Um. How are you doing over there in Georgia, my friend? Um, I'm 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 embarrassed to not know exactly where Georgia is. Is it? It's Midwest, isn't it? Some kind of, uh, or Mid-East? Swiss Georgia? Ah, here we go. Oh, it's just Northern Florida. Oh, no. Oh, no. Florida is going to be an absolute humanitarian disaster zone very, very soon. I'm very afraid for them. We're definitely going to have to upgrade the RAM on this PC before too long. It's struggling. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Bill, I hope you're safe, my friend. Be well. That's, um... 
not looking great though. So, uh, what's the Australian data looking like now? Because uh, we're not we're not reporting John Hopkins by area at the moment, which is a problem. Uh, Apparently, the Australian government was telling that they did they did most of the tests. They did like a significant amount of the tests. I don't know. Where did so, where, sorry? This uh, you should look. There's several articles of, uh, uh, reporting that the Australian government has done most like a significant amount of the. COVID testing compared to other countries. Uh, oh, 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 wait, compared, compared to other countries or for other countries? Compared to other countries. Yeah, compared to other countries, we're doing very well in terms of testing per people, but we are slowing down a lot now. We're uh, running running low on tests is the main major challenge. Aren't we ro we're rolling out the two new tests, aren't we? Um, yes, the, the two ones that have been approved by the FDA, I think they are, which is fantastic news. Most important thing is to, to test so we can track down and keep an eye on this thing. Uh, live coronavirus map. Uh, just be warned, 2032, uh, there wasn't enough volume in the mushrooms thing. Oh, for the final one? Yeah. Okay. Just a bit, just only like a tiny bit. That's alright, the other ones are low on volume anyway, so. Um, alrighty. Yeah, they're done. Well done. Fantastic. All right, so uh, stick those into there. Keep them on ice. Let's. Can you please now label um, nine tubes? Nine tubes. Nine tubes. Um, I'll try and get the labels out for you. Are the small tubes or the big tubes? Uh, micro center fuse tubes. So one point big tubes. Big tubes. Oh, big tubes. Okay. Uh, I need labels. Okay, I'm going to turn off this thing. Yep. All right, here are the labels. I'll, uh, I'll start labeling them. Uh, there we go. So the first set of primers are Song FIP. Song FIP um, forty UL Song BIP forty UL I'll put the date as well, thirtieth of the third. Song B uh, F three. Um, forty uh, five UL thirtieth and third song B three five UL thirtieth and third song loop F. Ten UL, thirtieth and third song loop B. Ten UL. We've got a question. What's the question? I can't read that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> more of a more of a greeting slash statement than a question. All right. Um, do you want to just? Uh, I'll set these in half for you. Start by labeling those six, and then get out the primers, put them on ice, and um, and, and yeah, you can also label the tops of the tubes with just F three, B three, B R P, and B three. Okay. And then I'll do um, fifty U L song master mix thirtieth of the third. Um, 40 UL lamp master mix. Um, and then 10 UL of lamp fluorescent dye. 
All right, those are all the excess cubes that we need to take to them. This is just making sure that the guys that we're sending this across to, that we're going to be going to the lab to next, have some excess stuff to make up tests in case our tests fail to work and we suspect that the problem was us stuffing up and not the test not working. So always be prepared to prepare for your own mistakes. Something I've learned the hard way through life. Oh, okay. Thanks, Adam. Really appreciate it, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're stocked up on all necessary medical supplies. Okie dokie. Um, I will help clear out the space in here. Um, can I also start labeling these on the inside lip? Oh yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, cool, I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah. no, no, the... oh, what? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Is, is, is the lid the same way around? Yeah. 21. So. Yeah, the right way around. Sorry, sorry. 23. 24. 25. Okay. Holy. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put these in the fridge. These are the ones are they? Uh, no, no, this, 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 that's the one that's like, yeah. Okay. They're slightly off-color, it's very hard to Yeah, it's like, they almost seem like they're, they're precipitating. I did not like this look of that, but it's just, they're just a little bit colored. So I'm going to stick these in the fridge. Wait. Where are we bringing them? Uh, you've, um, you've labeled them 28, 30, 39, 32. No problem, it's just, again, I like to make this up on the, on the it's fine, it's fine. What the right up there? Yeah. Oh, what are they? Oh, God. Rip. Oh, God. It's okay. I will just change the right up. Uh, uh, edit. 21, 26, 27, through. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Alright, cool. That's it's tight, it's easy, no stress. Okay. Just um, starting each set from the next number. Oh, yeah. okay. Right, so, um, what do you got in this? Can you take this out now? Yeah, we just need a primus. You need the primus? So we just hold these in our in the underarm. It's a good place to hold primers to defrost. Them. Use your hands, but uh, this. Oh, what? Like, like, like this? Yeah. Holy crap! That's how Mark does it. Oh my! Such a genius. Mark does it. Oh. Oh my god. That's actually really. Cool. Use that in future. Uh, do you want to? Well, I'll hold. Do you want to start doing the the that makes the die? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, test kit. Yeah, the test kit. I'll do it then. Thank you, in the stream. Feel free to ask. We've probably got another 10 to left before we head out. And then we're going to be driving halfway across to go to a secret special to where they will have a positive us. If you are wondering where to find the write-up of the experiment, this will also be the first place Results after tonight. Go to the Biofoundry page, 19 website. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Just under the primer set. Wait. Where is it? Nope. Up, up, up. Sorry. Just above. Click this first link to access to the folder. Click this second link to get access to the Then you'll be able to see. All of our post-experiment write-up, our results, all of this stuff. Um, we'll 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 try and put as much stuff on the website, on the on the Facebook page as possible. But 
If you're really, really keen to figure out if we succeeded this afternoon, you want to see the first, be the first to find out, you can find it here. It'll be down the bottom here uh, under experiment day two. So I'll post the pictures there first um, as soon as I get permission from our new lawyers. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I'm not used to this at all. <laughs> Uh, have to go since it's late, but good luck and hope everything works out. Please let me know about where to get reagents since I was trying to do the same experiment using the pocket PCR. Oh, oh wait. Um, New England Biolabs and IDT. I, I think I said that before, but just, just to remind you, New England Biolabs and IDT. Alright, these are always defrosted. So, how much for lab Um, yeah, we just, just give them 20 tests, so 40 microliters. I think it says there. Yeah. For the Primer Mix, it's 50 microliters. Yeah, uh, yeah, 50. I mean, that's way more than I'll need, but we've got so much Primer Master Mix. Yeah, we can make it pretty easy, isn't it? Exactly. So you're adding six clearness liquids. So Yay! Yeah, everyone, please note that this is why labeling is so important. Every single thing we're adding together today, except for the dye, is a colorless liquid. They're all completely indistinguishable without those labels. They all contain very, very unique and special things. To the naked eye, they all look like water. So, label twice. Right. Also, these primers are called meow meow meow. M meow meow. M meow meow. M meow meow loop B. M meow meow loop F. It's great. Cool. You take it. These are all defrosted enough for you to. Can I get round there to stick to this in the eye? Take this ice box across with us. Um, normally when we're transporting things from the biofoundry lab, you have to be really careful with um, putting them in, in double containers. You can't work with the door open, all these important rules. But um, the this coronavirus test kit no GMOs. It's only various bits of DNA and uh, and and uh, polymerase, various enzymes. It doesn't actually involve anything that would be classified as genetic modification. No, no living organisms. Oh. What? No. What? Uh, 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 no GMO when there's totally genetic. Yeah. Yes. So here's an important distinction that Ben's used: is that if you you if you genetically modify an organism, use it to produce something purify it, the resultant protein, despite a GMO, is not a GMO. It's a, um, it's just a protein. Cool. Excellent. Uh, oh, of course. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a do, do, do it last. You do the primers now. I'll hold it. It still says store it. Yeah, but it's Is that, is, is really that much dye at the bottom? I thought this was full, cool, but is it actually really small? And Oh, okay. Maybe give them less dye then. Just give them, how much are we giving them? 10 microliters. Yeah, give them 5. Give them 5. And, uh, I, thought, I thought this was actually completely... No, really. Cool. Alright. Uh, what? Oh, this is... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, 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 it's liquid now, so you... Oh, cool. So say, don't handle things. From, okay, hold on. Phone call. I will just uh, end with you and be right back. Go on, my friends.
That was, um... So, mm, that was actually a different lab. Oh. Let me always hook this up with that might might have RNA to test later. Ooh. So that's very exciting, but we are going to focus today on going to our other lab to see whether or not a positive control. But keep in mind that this will only test sort of half of the kit, maybe maybe sixty six percent of the kit. How are you doing there, Benj? I'll do fip and bip. Fip and bip. Good man. So we guys were probably about five to ten minutes away from finishing up here and heading out. Uh, if you have any final questions, you want to know things about coronavirus, you want to know about the test kit, you want to know our biofoundry in general, please feel free to ask. We'd love to answer your questions. What? 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 I mean, compared to the others? Yeah, Fib and Bip have very little. Like. Like, uh, what was the original dilution quantity? I think that was. A little, I think it was low. Uh, no, 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 no. Pip and bip. Yeah, they were the yeah. lowest. So you want to just give them, but they also need the most of pip and bip. Hmm. Uh, I think just give them forty, dude. Okay. Just give them forty. We, we've got master mix for days, so, yeah. like, if you think about it, we had, uh. 32.5 of master mix per one. So, um, yeah, we're going to have enough for three more master mixes. Yeah. No worries at all. Got a question? No, we do not. Okie dokie. Alright. Last two bits of pipetting. As a, as a sort of, you know, Final understanding of what the test kit looks like is just going to be 25 microliters in a little tube like this. And hopefully you just dip in your sample and it shows, but there may be an extra step necessary where we heat the sample to 95 degrees and then add it. This is because the test relies on getting access to RNA, and RNA in viruses is generally locked up in a protein coat. So unless any of those viruses have recently broken open, the kit will have trouble getting access to the RNA. So first things first, we may need to actually boil samples with the swab in them and then, or close to boil, and then add that RNA to our kit. We will see. But once again, that doesn't really matter today. All that matters today is seeing if it's against DNA, which is going to be purified anyway. Assuming the test works, what's the best way we people can help? Okay, great question, great question. Um, We've got some various ideas of how to scale it. You can find it down here, and we've sort of been talking about that recently. Um, we are completely chockers on the lab. If we get some more lab space, we'd love to have some more scientists. But right now, we've got too many scientists and not enough lab space. But what you can do, there's two groups. They're called um, uh, Open Source COVID-19 Medical Supplies and Open Source COVID-19 Medical Supplies Australia. Anyone who tells us they would like to help, but I don't have enough information to give them yet, I tell them to join this group. So I'll, I'll post that in, the, in every chat. Um, try and find this group on Facebook if you can. Alternatively, if you are the someone who actually has a lab and has the capacity to do lab, independent verification is the greatest thing that we scientists can get. So you don't need the greatest facilities to set up the test kit. You definitely do to be able to handle viral samples. But there are some ways to get uh, positive controls, such as in a plasmid, that would be allowed in a space such as our own. So definitely check out those groups, uh, both the Australian one, or if you're an international person, just open source COVID-19 supplies, medical supplies, this one might be it. That's another Australia group. So F3 is 5 microliters? Uh, wait, what? Uh, yes, F3 is 5. Yeah. Okie dokie. <sighs> Gotta say, that discovering this resource has definitely sort of ruined my week. <laughs> Don't like the look of this at all. Also, um, seeing this is um, calling this the the Wuhan virus might have been a strategic mistake by the USA, since at the rate that it's evolving, we'll soon have a lot more US viruses than we will Wuhan viruses. It'll still have originally originated from there. There's no doubt about it, but. Watching, watching the evolution inside America occur, look at all of these red bubbles right here. These are all 
mutations that have occurred while the virus has been spreading in the USA. So early on, got a bunch of purple mutations from China where there's a very, very large population that's infected, more chances of a mutation occurring. Now the USA is the central repository of the disease, we see a lot more green circles, and sorry, red circles. And the same goes for Europe with the green circles. In fact, in fact done. we're done! Guys, we're done! We'll put these primers back in the fridge. All right, Ben's just gonna put things back in the fridge, but a small round of applause to Ben for successfully pipetting everything while I chatter away here and distract him. We are now going to take our 32 tests across to our collaborating lab, almost to name them. You'll know the name of the lab once we get permission to share it. And we will find out if they work against the DNA positive control. So, wish us luck. Um, no promises. This is science. This is not a guaranteed success, okay? So, uh, believe in us, but also believe in us to tell you if this fails, because we will. As I said before, you'll find the results for the first here, and then later on I'll be posting them on social media, given all the permission that I need to get. Alright, we're throwing out all the empty stuff. Oh, don't throw that out. Oh, yeah. Alright, alright. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to follow our various streams, and we'll catch you next time. Hopefully, 